Mm. Ben, and please ask my knowledge that if he has any intention of contesting for flag bearership uh, position 2024, uh, uh, and if no, what then is the cause of the seeming mistrust between he and some supporters of JM in Tamale and some parts of the country? A lot of JM supporters think he is against John Mahama. This is from Seydou. A figment of their imagination. I don't intend to respond to that. And uh, Ben, I, oh, you don't intend to respond to that? No. And I'm young enough to wait for God's opportunity tomorrow. And I'm not. Uh, in a Are you lacing your boots for 2024? Absolutely not. <laughs> you are not lacing. Well, let me see the shoe you're wearing. Whether they're having boots. They are not no, boots. It's, it's, okay, it's not Kambu. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what, do you, what do you think of Dufour? I've seen the, the name come up in. Uh, no comment. What I know is that the NDC must be a party of opportunity. Mm. But I know that the grassroots of the NDC is decided in their minds mm -hmm. as to what to do with mm. the return. Because Neil Antivanapoy told us. But we must subject it to a competitive democratic process. I because Neil Antivanapoy told we us two weeks ago mm. that NDC. He says NDC MPs have endorsed President Mahama. The party will make a determination of his flag bearer, but those who can guess should be able to know who would emerge as our flag bearer. But we should subject it to. So, whatever the president open, should vote? Open or? democratic process. There shouldn't, a be a, there shouldn't be a Swedish declaration. It's a, it's a political party. If we go and acclaim, that's democratic. We can do that.